Hey, my name is Impasto, and this is called Doorway's Old Prototype. Welcome to Doorway's Old Prototype. This game you're about to play was created before the development of Doorway's Prelude, the first episode in the Doorway series. This version was built between late 2011 and early 2012. It was an early prototype made to show the main features of the game. The notes here have been updated recently, 2016, to share some of the details during the journey. Wow. Yeah, um... I think I'm about a decade late on that. But it's fine, it's all fine, it's all fine. Wow. Looks pretty neat. Oh. I don't even have to jump. The first level was called The Abyss, and it was created by Tobias Rushjan, programmer, and Ignacio Belish, artist. I'm so sorry if I pronounced those wrong, please do not come for my throat. In 2011 for the company NGD Studios, they had the opportunity to make a quick prototype from scratch in two weeks. The setting looked like some kind of hell, and this was actually something you can see in the last episode from the official game. Doorways, Holy Mountains of Flesh, at El Chacal, four years later. Very pretty. This is back in 2011 to 2012? Because that's crazy. Looks really good. Ah. Oh. Ha ha. Um. Am I going back? Whee! Ah, I see. Whee! This game's easy! Ha ha! What is the slowdown mechanism for? What do I... What do I do with that? Whee! It only slows me down. It doesn't slow down time or anything. It's just me. Wow! Now that was a shift! Okay. That was pretty fucking cool. I can jump a lot higher than I thought I could. Um. Now. Oof. Now. Now.
Nice! Huzzah! Oh... Where are you taking me? At the beginning of... <clears throat> At the beginning, the game was about action and platforming, without giving much importance to the story, but focus on the atmosphere and gameplay. The goal for the project was to make something fun and interesting, but at the same time, cheap to make. That's why the original idea was to don't have any characters in the game, since that made it more expensive to create. It's fair. Characters do seem expensive. Watch your steps. Ah, I see. Well, all right. The official games kept the idea of the twisted world, the ambiance and atmosphere as the most important features, and the horror and flashbacks and other visions. This flashback right here was actually remade at the hospital in Doorways the Underworld. In the official releases, the game features a little of action and platforming, but some other mechan- But some other mechanics were added, like puzzles, characters, inventory, and more refined storyline. But were the games good? Hold mouse left click other special platforms to move them. Oops. Whoa. Okay. That's neat. When holding an object, use the mouse wheel to push and... What? Whoa. Huh. Huh. Nice. Okay. Okay, safe. And go. Bro. Let's go. Um... Oh, okay. Put that there. Put that there. Do I just... Wait. No. Um. No way. Oh, I guess. Okay. Wee. Hell yeah. Okay. It's um, kind of a little bit more intimidating than it needs to be. 
I got smooshed. I got smooshed. Oh, fuck. Ah, I missed the jump. Nice. Oh, nice. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. What happened? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Yikes. Nice. Um. Oh, fuck. Too, too early, too early. Way too early. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eight. Okay. I think I got it this time. What's that shit? What? Fuck! God damn it. It's fucking stupid. Shit. God I hate myself and I want to commit suicide Did it, did it fucking call mercy on me? Jesus Christ. I'm sorry I didn't... Fuck. <sighs> Where are we going? That was too far, apparently. Whee! There we 
go. Hello? The auditorium. Hi. The second part of the game was created by Tobias after leaving the studio to become an indie dev. That's why all the art visuals here are We're a placeholder, but at the same time, the original idea expanded to include creatures. At that time, this edition was influenced by Amnesia, The Dark Descent, by Frictional Games. What a good fucking game that was, by the way. Hi! Oh, you're actually coming for me. Um... What, um... Um, can I just run around you? Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was something. As you can see, the scenarios and situations in the original game were a lot more twisted and surreal than the ones from the final titles. That's why one of the first names for this early prototype was Twisted. Hi! Um... Uh, I, um... What? <laughs> okay, um... Stay away from the floor marks. Well, like... Aha! The original story was about a man who was trying to redeem himself. He was a lost soul running to escape from this dark places. That's the reason for the game to also get temporary light... Names like The Path, Atonement, and Harto, Spanish word for exhausted. Hi? Uh, uh, oh. Um... It's too far of a jump. Ah. 
Aha! Fuck. Okay, okay. I did it. Uh, um. Oh. Oh. Interesting. another panel aha okay oh I see I see tried to confuse me there but I figured you out. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. Ah, uh, it's fine. He's a pussy. Oh. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> what is this? Make it follows you. Okay, so I have an idea. Fuck! Okay, cool. So you do that. And then he hopefully just stays there? And you just... Hop, literally hop, hop, hop. Back on top. Then... Ooh, baby. All right. What have you done? What's going on here? Killed me. What? Um.
What? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Get juked, motherfucker. With this prototype you have just played, Tobias was able to convince his uncle, Ivan Rusja, again, sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong at all, to invest in the project. It was in 2011 when they started a small familiar partnership, which they called Cybot Studios. Since we're talking about a middle class family and a third word world, Argentina, the first investment was very small, but the amount of work and commitment was huge. In March of 2012, the first game, Prelude Chapters 1 and 2, started its official development with a team of two people. The office at that time was Tobias's room and his mother's house. A year later, 2013, the first title got into the stores, becoming the first Argentinian game to be released from steam green light that's pretty cool actually in 2014 the development team expanded to five people to get the second game done during the same year the underworld chapter three in 2015 the team continued growing to eight people to create the third final and biggest game in the series named Holy Mountains Flesh Chapter 4. The last game launched as early access the same year and got fully released in 2016, five years after this old prototype. Hello? Hello? 